as you rightly pointed, the uh, actual launching of the show uh, took place in Johannesburg um, a, a couple of months ago or so. Um, the main show is in November, uh, as you know, and uh, it's quite a big event, and we really want to engage um, the many stakeholders that we expect to participate in this roadshow to sensitize to um, discourse and design investment um, uh, pipelines that perhaps we can join the finance together as a multi-stakeholder uh, group. Yeah, so it's more sensitization and just awareness, and also looking at pipelines of projects that can be promoted. Now, as part of efforts to achieve uh, set goals for the Africa Investment Forum by the AFDB, the bank will be looking to work with multilateral institutions, governments yes. across Africa, as well as the private sector. Now, let's try to, expa uh, uh, let's try to extrapolate what specific uh, arrangements mm -hmm. or goals or roles that you expect yeah. these institutions to play. First, governments across Africa. How yeah. do you intend to bring them in into achieving the strategies set for the Africa Investment Forum? Well, it's, 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 it's quite um, easy but complex at the same time. If you think back 50 years ago, um, since independence, the way that we have been financing infrastructure investment is through governments. Um, uh, given the magnitude, the pressure on population, the demand for services, uh, urbanization challenges, uh, the youth barge, etc., the demand on, on infrastructure is so huge that governments alone cannot finance that infrastructure anymore. Uh, at the same time, we know that there are significant pools of investment funds across the globe looking for good returns, including pension funds, central bank reserves, um, uh, private equity, etc. That we can leverage those funds to do the amount of infrastructure that's needed in Africa. So what the marketplace, the Africa Investment uh, Forum tries to do is to say to all the stakeholders that are looking uh, for good um, returns, uh, to finance good investment returns, we're saying Africa is ready for you. We want you to come and partner with us and finance the infrastructure needs of the continent. At the same time, we will mitigate um, any perceived risk uh, because most of the risk is really about perceptions and also to make sure that we have good bankable investments so that returns uh, can be um, assured to the investors coming in. Now, the AFDB president has emphasized over and over again about the Africa Investment Forum that this is beyond talks. We are actually going to see uh, trade take place. How is this expected to work, different from other conferences and roadshows held in order to facilitate trades across Africa? Yeah, I think um, uh, the, what, what he's been saying, and I think what, what we are all saying, is that we do have enough of the typical uh, talk shops uh, where it is needed. I'm not, I'm not knocking down. It is needed. Um, but this one is quite different. This one, what we're looking to is all transactions. We want to come in with um, a, a certain number of projects that we are looking for financing, projects that we believe are ready and bankable, and that we showcase those projects and then say what the bank um, uh, can do, what others can do, invite others also to join us so that those projects now get, f get the finance they need and to get the results that we are looking for. For the AFDB, the what qualifies as bankable projects? Well, we, we see um, uh, traditionally across the board, whether it's in government or the AFDB, we see a wish list of, uh, of, um, of, of projects, infra infrastructure projects coming in. Um, the preparation of these uh, projects are usually not sufficient to get, they have not been sufficiently de risk if you wish, for the pri private sector to be, invest, to, be, to be interested in coming in and investing in those projects. So through the various mechanisms we have, um, and then the marketplace that we're now setting up, we look to de-risk investment before, to make them bankable before approaching the private sector to join us in the funding. So why focus on infrastructure? Ah, infrastructure needs for the continent, as you know, are huge. Uh, infrastructure, without infrastructure, uh, you cannot really sustain economic growth. And you cannot also provide the service delivery that you need for your populations. So um, we are looking at um, the numbers are large, and they do vary from um, you know from studies to study. But you, we are really looking at um, huge amounts of um, investment needed, close to 200 billion dollar gap annually. 
Um, and uh, that's why it is important for us to create this multi-stakeholder platform to raise the funds that are needed. Infrastructure is, 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 is a great enabler. I mean, without it, we cannot really do many of the economic activities that we take routinely for granted. Um, if you look at um, uh, uh, Nigeria, for example, um, I think the National Infrastructure Master Plan is talking about um, a gap of about 100 billion um, needed to really bring a level of infrastructure um, uh, investment that will assure the growth targets that we're talking about in the economic recovery growth plan. Without the infrastructure in place, those growth rates will never be reattained. So what essentially will the AFDB be telling private sector investors to give them the comfort and the security mm -hmm. that they did not have before, which led in the first place to the infrastructure gap, as you rightly said mm -hmm. earlier, governments across Africa cannot do it alone. What will be different this time in terms of the risking mm -hmm. this investment options? Yeah, what is different this time? I mean, the, the FDB have been setting up different platforms um, over the years. We've created the, um, uh, we have the, the uh, IPPF preparation uh, funds, we have the Africa 50, which is also has a preparation, a project preparation facility. And now uh, we are also partnering with others to say, how do we take a project and uh, at the upstream side, de-risk that project, which we know the private sector will not do or doesn't have the capacity or the appetite to actually do. So you need a multi-stakeholder platform where the multilateral financial institutions and governments can partner to de to to de-risk. I mean, at the at the upstream end, the estimate is that um, project preparation costs anywhere from six to ten percent of the project cost. That's a large amount, and it's a cost that the private sector is not going to take. So a way has to be found to finance that um, uh, preparation cost to allow um, the private sector to feel assured that it has been sufficiently de risk for them to now come and invest, in, in, invest their money. So what we're doing really is, is, is one, working um, uh, together with others on making that projects are thoroughly and well prepared, um, uh, seeing how we can mitigate and share the risk along the whole project profile. Uh, because you know, uh, for each project, if you look at it, there's about four levels of risk. Some of that risk, the private sector will not take. So you have to find a way of um, uh, making sure that, that that cost element, that upfront cost element needed to prepare the projects is also available. So, but we are confident and we have seen it that uh, given the volume of funds out there waiting to, looking for returns on investment, that if we sufficiently de-risk um, all of these projects, the funding will come. Let's attempt to talk specifics ahead of the November event. Yes. What key things should we expect to see? What we'll see is that I think this is the, uh, aside from the South Africa launching, um, this is the first of the roadshows. Uh, clearly, Nigeria being the largest economy um, in the continent, uh, we needed to make sure that um, we start out here uh, before going to the other regions. So from here, uh, the roadshow will go to um, the other regions, North, Central, West, and East Africa, um, to try to engage again with uh, the government, with other stakeholders to look for projects that are banking, that are ready and bankable to bring to the private sector and others for financing.